Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another tutorial after a long time. In this video, I will show you how to create an awesome logo animation, using Adobe After Effects. And let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. I have divided the logo into two parts, so it will easier when animating it. Let's export the logo, into After Effects. Here I'm using a plugin called, Overload. Also, you can simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects as well. Select all the layers of the icon and pre-compose it. Also, I will pre-compose the text layer as well. So then we can have two separate compositions, to work. Let's animate the icon, first. Only select the right side layer. Get the pen tool, and create a stroke like this. Set the stroke size, equal to the width of the layer. I will reduce the opacity of the stroke, so we can, align it properly. Select that layer again. Type, stroke, in the search. Change line cap, and line join, to round. Now select the left side layer, and do the same. Select the layer and press P for the opacity setting. Now, increase it up to 100. Do the same action for both strokes we created. I will change the color of the original layers. So it will be easier to manage it. Let's animate the stroke. Go to layer settings, and add a trim path. Add two keyframes. 0 to 100. Select both keyframes, and easy ease. Again, select both keyframes and press Ctrl plus C to copy, and paste it into the top layer. OK. The animation is looking good. But we have some work to do to make it smoother. I will rename, both layers, so it will be easier to manage. Let's animate the arrowhead as well. We need another stroke line for that. So I will duplicate the previous stroke line we created, and make some adjustments to it. Let's hide the bottom layers. Again, I will reduce the opacity to 60%. Now, complete the path using pen tool. Select the new layer created, and type path in the search. Select the path, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now select the original arrow layer, and press P to open the position settings. Then paste the copied path into it. OK. Now we can see the object moving along the path. Select all keyframes, and easy ease it. Right click the arrow layer, and go to, transform, auto orientation. Then select, orient along path. Press R, and change the rotation value to 90 degrees. OK. Now we can see the arrow moving nicely, along the path. Let's adjust the speed of the animations. So select all keyframes and move them holding ALT key.
Now I think the speed is good enough. Move the right stroke layer to top of the right layer. And left stroke layer to the top of left layer, like this. Select both left and the right layers, and change its track map to alpha. I think the animation is looking good. But we have to work with the timing and speed. Select both keyframes of the right stroke, and go to speed graph. Then create a graph like this. Start is slow, and the end needs to be quick. Now select the other two keyframes, and create an invert graph of the previous. Cool. Let's adjust the timing of the layers appear. Move the top layer to the end of the other, like this. Ok, I will place it here. Now, press Alt plus left bracket, to cut the layer. Ok, now the animation looks smooth. I think, we have to speed up the animation, a little bit. So I will play with the keyframes, and adjust the speed. OK. Let's move to the arrow, again. Select all keyframes and expand it holding Alt key. Open its speed graph, and create a graph like this. Let's see the animation again. It looks good, but we have to adjust it, a little bit. Play with keyframes, and correct its timing. Ok, the animation looks good now. Select the right layer named R. Press, T, and set opacity values, 0 to 100. Copy both keyframes, and paste it to the arrow layer. Play with keyframes, and adjust the timing of it. Select all layers without the top one. Right click, and pre-compose it. Now we are going to create a stroke line again. So, I will copy the previous stroke we created, and complete it using pen tool. Ok, let's play the animation. Cool. Adjust the timing of the keyframes holding Alt key, like previous. Go to the speed graph, and create a graph like this. Cool. I will set the stroke size as, 11. Now, move the stroke layer to bottom. Also, move it couple of frames backward, like this. I will increase the starting value to 18. So we can hide the stroke inside the original layers. Now, move the timeline to a position like this, and press Alt plus left bracket, to cut the layer. The animation is looking good now, so let's move to the previous composition. It's time to animate the text. So, open the text composition. Get the pen tool and create a stroke line for each letter. Let's start with the letter A. OK. Here I have created two stroke lines. So do the same for all letters. First, I will create the strokes roughly. Later, we can adjust it properly. I will change the color of the text layer. Then it will be easy to find it. Select all the stroke lines, and reduce their opacity to 60%. Now, increase the stroke size, equal to the width of the letter. Let's make the stroke lines, fit with the letters properly. So I will adjust each letter, using the pen tool. Ok, let's increase the opacity value, 
back to 100%. Select the bottom stroke, and add a trim path. Set two keyframes for the end value, 0 to 100. OK. The animation looks good, right click, and easy ease the keyframes. Go to speed graph, and create a graph like this. Copy both keyframes and paste it into all the layers. Let's see the animation. OK. The animation looks good, but we have some remaining work to do. Select all the layers again, and press Alt plus left bracket, to cut them. Move each layer, three frames forward, like this. I think the animation is little bit slow, so I will adjust the end keyframes to speed it up. OK. Now it's good. Let's fix the timing of the stroke lines appear, so I will cut the second layer from here. Now select the first keyframe of the letter R. I mean the small stroke line. Move forward them, and increase the speed. Press Alt plus left bracket, and cut it from here. Do the same for the other R letter as well. Select all the stroke lines, and pre-compose it. I will name it as, Mask. Select the text layer, and change its track mat to Alpha. Let's see the animation. Cool. Again, select both layers, and pre-compose them. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Move the top layer two frames forward. Again, make a duplicate, and move that layer one frame forward. Go to Effect and Presets, and type Fill. Then drag and drop the fill, to the middle layer. Change its color to white. Select the bottom layer, and reduce its opacity to 25%. Let's see the animation again. Cool. Go back to previous composition. Now, we have almost finished our animation. Let's adjust the timing of the text appear. So move forward the text layer, to a position like this. Select the icon composition. And press P to open position settings. Now, add two keyframes. So I will give a simple upward motion. Like this. Select both keyframes. And easy ease them. Open the speed graph, and create a graph like this. I will move those two keyframes, and correct its timing. Check the final animation, and now we are done. I hope you have learned something new today. Don't forget to like this video as well as to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.